morning everyone, and SG. How are we all doing today? Time for an early morning one again. Well, morning at least. It's still morning last time I looked. Microphone activated. Sound resumed. Not so much early, but we shall see. So we're back on Newston again. Surprise, surprise. And we're just going to carry on from where we left off on here last night with the bowling. See if we can get some of that done. Let's hope everything's going to behave itself on here this morning. First thing we need to do here is get the combine moving again. Hence why we're down beside the John Deere. Which seems to keep loading into the game with the back window open. No idea why that keeps happening. I'm good, thanks. No time to be half asleep, SG. Half the day's gone by. So just get this empty out. Get that on the move again. While that empties, we'll just find the other John Deere, which I think has got a full trailer. Don't forget to plug it in when you do go on it. Might not work very well if not. So I'll just tip this before we get started today. Slowly building up to 50k going up the field. How much wheat we're getting in here now, but there must be quite a bit. So we're going to need the price of that to go up soon. More than 11.74, it's not bad down here either. Well, as I say, there's just some spots of rain hitting the window outside. It's fairly windy though. Just to rub sort of salt in it's also got the sun out whilst, whilst it's raining it's one of them days so I hope those that have watched are going to find this morning's video useful to them This one will probably be better going down by the railway line again. Well, it's cold here too. It doesn't mean it's not a nice day. Look out this way, SG. If it wasn't cold, you'd have nothing to moan about. But I'm sure you'd soon find something. Too much this field left on these long work bits now, which is good. So we'll start bailing the field. Exactly. You moan if it's cold, you moan if it's hot.
Before we start, let's have a look at how many bars we've got so or done so far. Because don't forget we can't sleep on here, so that's um, just going through from one day till the next at the moment. So we're going to keep an eye on this. 557 in total, so we'll see how many come off this field. Quite a few, I'd imagine. So let's just get rid of those GPS lines. And we'll start battling this field up. this track that starts to struggle we'll put the uh, 939 on it. Morning Dal, how are we doing? Hope you're feeling better this morning. It's a bit, a bit easier than using the round baler. Welcome along, Nightbot, finally. It's decided to grace us with your presence. Uh, can't remember if two or five percent. might sometimes have to tab out the game and go back into it for it to take effect though. Ah, oh, that's good then. Which he's not tried to bump you off yet today. a few bales um, coming out on this field. Let's try and get that a little bit there. Time yet in the Dell. <clears throat> If that's going to struggle going up slopes, we're going to need the bigger fin. Whose idea was it to bail this field? I think for once we might say blame Farmer Jane for something. I believe this was her idea. Once we get back around that top corner, we'll have a look and see how many bars we've done off the first headland. Be a few, I think. I think the amount of bars on this field would give a multiplayer server a severe lag if we were doing it on there.
I think you're going to be quite a way out, SG, somehow. We'll have to stop when we get back to the beginning anyway, because the um, combine's full. Go down to the 6920, and uh, while that's empty, and I'll have a look at how many we've done. I'd say we're probably looking near 40 bales off the headlands. Oh, uh, I'll accept your first answer, SG. Be like a game show, you know. Hi Phil, how are we doing? ease up a bit after this one. This combine won't be doing so longer ends on the field. Good thanks. Not bad at all this morning. Yes it is the updated one eleven seventy four so it's now got a damn German number plate on it. Which is irritating. It won't have for long. I'll be sorting that little issue out. Right, so bales off the headland, 41. So I wasn't far out when I said about 40. So that um, bodes well for how many we're going to have off the whole field. So far I've used 2,500 litres of diesel as well. Yeah, nice feeling that one, Phil. be a second video going out at some point this afternoon which will be a mod review we'll go back to a standard video tomorrow morning which will probably be Meadow Grove just sort of looking through what I had recorded before I went live Got several Meadow Grove recorded, but only one Arthur's Farm at the moment. And a few mod reviews recorded. So, those who are on my Discord this morning will see that I've um, say, if you've got any suggestions for videos you'd like to see similar to the one I've done this morning please feel free to sort of suggest them and if there's something I can do myself I'll try and do a video on it got a couple in mind one which Milton has suggested already I'll have a look at doing that one into the pub when I cut around this pool. Which 
should know better because if someone done this with a combine I was bailing behind them I'd have gone for them leave the curved swath like that that's not a suggestion for a how to video SG and ETS videos do not do well going from what GD has been saying to me they would do better as a live stream In the better pub. I can't remember last time I actually went in one and had a drink. Unlike some people, I don't seem to go in there very much. I think of better things to waste money on than that. I get this feeling we could be somewhere around three to four hundred bales off this field. Bear in mind the last fields we round baled hadn't actually been fertilised. Done that again with this pole. I had the feeling it's gonna spit a bale out then right in the middle of one of those swaths. Should be about normal. So I know GD is planned on going live a little bit later when he gets home. At some point this afternoon, so you'll have whatever he's doing to look forward to. Be it dying or crashing in the video, or stream should I say. Either are highly likely. Or the other option of course is frying his brain in one. Now when we first got this bale we thought that would sort of solved the problem of bales landing at funny angles. That seemed to chuck them out in a straight line but not now. One thing's for certain if they're about three or four hundred pounds a bale we'll go have a lot of money on this field in straw. certainly won't be leaving the field across the track for straw after bailing this one it's taken an absolute, absolute age to clear these up but is it 16 at a time we can do with the trailer I 
This is a bit quicker bail than this combine, isn't it? So if you're interested, YouTube put notifications out for this stream. So I know I put them out about an hour after I'd finished last night to people. It's really helpful when it does that. Just think how many bales <clears throat> we'd go on this field with a bale cannon. For getting this many big bales. <clears throat> Get a little bit on that curve as well. Oh, I missed. Looks so much nicer if the bales are all straight in line with the bowler. At least you don't get that problem with the round bowler. I'd still rather look at a field full of round bales than a field full of square bales during harvest just something nice about how they look across the landscape. Got a couple of nice pictures from when I used to do it beside the um, North Norfolk coast. The bales was the sea in the background. Keep mean to get one of them put on the canvas because it just looks quite uh, nice or would look good on a wall. I suppose we better empty that combine before we do any more with this. Interesting. <laughs> Not quite sure what that was doing there, but... Get enough out of it to be able to start going back anyway. Give us time to... Go and empty the trailer again. You may hear Buster Dog in the background because I think he's trying to communicate with the postman at the moment. Another good load there. Of 
because if that was um, standard loading on the trial, that'd be heaped up higher than that. Can't take part loads. So I might do another stream a bit later today, we shall see on that one. out again. I just imagine that's nearly full again. Or stopped one or the other. Telling sometimes with these helpers when I get to the end of the field what they're going to do. just say this to you, I might do another one later. You know, Saturdays aren't normally a day I do too much if I'm a... I sometimes go out for the evening. Nice little spin. Rude block that side. That's your excuse, is it? We might have to take over doing these uh, bits ourselves there. Depends what the helper decides to do. Will you play it enough to make it worth spending 50 quid on SG? Is the question.
a lot of money to spend on the game if you're not going to play it very much. The games you can buy in that 50 quid. As of last week, I mean, per farming was down to £3.50 on you know, instant gaming last week. Well worth that. Doing? doing well and you good thanks just a bit of a surprise morning stream yeah I just saw it now and um, they sent the notifications they this did one. yep that's good shame they went out an hour late last night when that would have been more helpful to me but <laughs> yeah So unless things are changed, there are currently nine subscribers off 200. Yeah. 191. Yep. I mean, game wise, I know a lot of people have um, sort of slated per farming, but I'd say it's well worth the money it's been charged for it if anyone wants yeah. to try something different. Yeah. I know you bought it last week, didn't you, Milton? Yeah. Every time we seemed to look on Discord that said you were playing that for a couple of days there. Yeah, I was. And I need to be there again. What I might do is put a couple of videos on it again, or we may even do a live stream on that one. Just for something different. See how my goats are doing. Yeah, I need to check on mine too. And I believe in the last week ATS has been down to about three pounds something on instant gaming too. That's well worth a look on there. And ETS too. Yeah, and ETS too was down at silly yeah. money. It was. A couple of weeks back I bought City Skylines Platinum Edition for an absolutely ridiculous price on there. Saved some like 30, 40 pounds on that. I think that's a Platinum Edition, it's a quite a big set anyway. That's a big heap of straw. hate it when the combine driver left me things like that with a round baler. So on one occasion it smashed the cams out of my pickup on it. I'd spend seven hours rebuilding the baler. I just couldn't cope with it, no matter how easily I went through it. The baler was getting a little bit old, what we had there. Not as old as some, but... It's just gone very, very dark here, which can't be a good sign. Dark where? Where I am. Ooh, Losing raining. light. There's some oh. very big black clouds outside the window. Yeah, it rained all night in here. We could have kept it in your direction. No, no, no. We have no sunny skies. But it, it is starting to get cloudy again. Mind you, a lot of people would be very, very glad to see it here because it's getting ridiculously dry already. Yeah, we were getting dry too. There's already irrigation restrictions in place. Yeah. In some parts. The maintenance, they are suffering with some drought. Well, we tried to get a metal stake in the ground on 
um, Tuesday's course, and we couldn't actually push it in the ground. Ooh, we actually had to find a crack in the clay soil we could put the stake in. Yeah, clay soil, it is very... Yeah. It is not a good type of soil. No. To you have to have that right window to work at a clay soil. Yeah, that was a new vineyard. Yeah, we were at. That, that explains. That sounds really nice. I hear the wind howling and the rain hammering on the window at the moment. A hey, bison. The animal or the combine? Eleven seventy four. I'm presuming combine. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen any boys and animal mods. <laughs> Hi Sam, how are you doing? Enjoying the lovely weather in Norfolk today? It's good if you're inside. Don't know what's up with me though, I haven't been near the burger van this morning. It's bad. I know. There's a very good one here in town. I've not frequented it today, which is most unusual. What? What dog wants? The burger van? You looking for the rain or the burger van, Dal? <laughs> or the sound. I can send you the sound if you want. He's already got two of them, I don't think he wants a third one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how the combine has left that swath round the pole there. <laughs> yeah, it's now doing it again, Sam. Not sure which part of Norfolk you're in, but uh, it's certainly doing it here at the moment. I do like that bit, when you sort of move away from the baler you can hear the tractor and not the baler so loudly. Yeah, I'm more middle, Sam. Not too far from where your uh, dad's uncle used to work. So I think we're going to have to ignore the fact that the telegraph pole doesn't have collisions on it here as the combine went straight through it and left a swath through the middle of the pole. That's very common. Oh, not... This won't be very common in real life to be able to do this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite impressive, I must say, that little bit. Yeah. We just sort of ignore the fact the tractor's going through the pool. <laughs> uh, maybe another 45 minutes or so.
half 12, maybe 1 o'clock, depends what time GD wants to go live when he gets back. And whether I get hungry in the meantime. Might get very hungry given I haven't had my sausage and bacon baguette this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surviving on the Mars bar at the moment. Other chocolate bars are available. So I think my three to four hundred bale estimate is going to be somewhere near right on here somehow. Considering we got 41 off the first headland. Which means probably over 80 off the headlands alone on here. Seven nine thirty when we get up this end, go and empty the combine, and I think that one will want emptying itself. Have Discord updated their notification system or something? Why? Wow. Because I'm getting different ones coming through on my phone now, worded differently, and it's getting irritating. Um. Wasn't too bad when it was all sort of grey print, but that's big, bold, black. Letters popping up on my <laughs> screen, it's getting annoying. You are using the yeah, yeah, ah, okay. It is different for me because I'm I'm using the, the computer app, right? Yeah, it just showed me a red dot on the when something is posted, yeah. Another tank full on here, I should think. Hopefully, the combine hasn't missed anything down here. Wouldn't like to put money on it with the helpers. A small bit there. Nothing much to worry about, though. I don't think we've got any other fields that need harvesting on there at the moment if we buy anything. Got plenty of fields we can buy. And they've all been drilled. And there's one field of cotton. Yeah. Field it 9 is oats, that would pay well. It has Ooh. to be always a field of cotton. Uh oh. Three fields of potatoes. Oh. All available for purchase. Mm. But they're all in the blocks which I was going to look at buying. It doesn't matter which one I buy. You get one. Yeah, there's a field of potatoes in it at the moment. I was going to try and buy some from the other side of the map so we could see a bit more of the map over there. But each one of those blocks has got potatoes in it. So you might have to break break my sort of um, potato amnesty <laughs> which make me need to buy a potato has, harvester by the one that has the smallest field of potatoes yeah it's 
going to be about 20 trailer fulls of bales to clear up on here. <clears throat> Using the Anderson DLC. Hi Michael, how are we doing? This trailer's going to have to be changed, it's lethal this thing. I was thinking of buying that sort of field here next to the yard, but we aren't going to see much more different on the map if we do that. That's a massive field as well, that one. <clears throat> Doesn't look at but split in two. I would say that field nine is probably the biggest field on the map. Up here. And that comes with fields 10 and 11 as well for one million pounds. The rest are around six to 700,000. If we buy them. Try not to catch that button again. Unfortunately the price of wheat has gone down otherwise we'd have sold this straight away. But at least we know we've got that in there. So when it does go up again to about twelve, thirteen hundred pounds we'll have a lot of money there. Another couple hundred thousand pounds. We'll just sort of linger for a second here. Not quite sure how full the combine is. Not overly. So it might be all right. Pull it up this end and we'll carry on bailing. We'll get this positioned here, and that'll stop a few meters short of it. Probably. Yeah, it is a good map, Michael. At the minute, we're sort of concentrating on this side of it, hence why I'd like to get a field to the other side of the railway line to have a look at. If we buy the one with the cotton in it, I'll have to cultivate it up. So I'm not doing cotton on here. We wouldn't see it in this country, so therefore I'm not having it on the map based in this country. I know I always said semi realistic live stream series, but even so, that's pushing it a bit too far, that one. The problem is a lot of straws dealing with these things. Hopefully the creator will put out the revised version of this map with all the fixes in it. I know the fixes are listed on FSUK. I just haven't quite got around to trying to do them yet. Few people have said that SG, but I haven't had any real problems with it. And at the moment we're 57 to 60 FPS. There's a lot of swaths and bales there. As we know, that doesn't help it. If 
I unlock it, it'll sit at 60. If we can get that sort of FPS around this much straw and swaths and bales, it can't be too bad. That was even with the old one SG. Not just this one. I never had FPS issues with the old PC on here. We'll be planning on doing a 200 subscriber special. It may be in video form or it may be in live stream form, I'm not sure yet. It was planned for the 100 subscriber special, but things sort of got ahead of us. <coughs> I think yeah. it's the best way to describe that. That has been set up for two months. Yeah. Probably roughly. Well. Yeah. Two, two, maybe three. Yeah. all set up ready to go Importantly, that will be MP based this 200 subscriber special. I think we're a couple of trailer drivers short at the moment, aren't we, Milton? But, uh, yeah. For that one? Yeah, we need at least eight. Yep. Yeah. Well, you won't get any more than eight on there because that's how many yeah. slots I've got on the server. <laughs> yeah, we have, what, uh, four? Yeah, something like that. We need more, four more. But the only way people get on the MP is to um, make it so we trust them. Yeah. Not Basically, cool. because both myself and Milton, particularly, have spent a very long while building that server up. I think that's way over 200 hours on there, isn't there? Yes. On that one. I know that uh, I had two tractors between then. They will be probably a hundred hours. Yeah. Between the two case tractors. Yeah, I do do some MP, Michael. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? So the only people allowed in MP are ones who both myself and Milton trust. Nasty cough you've got there, SG. Yeah, you better you better go to the doctor and check it. So the MP server is actually set up with Milton has one farm on there. I've got a bigger one, but it's no sort of runners. One more or less, and up with machinery and everything. Yeah. And certainly the um, 200 subscriber special will be across both of them with what we've got planned.
think that server has been running since FS19 came out, that one. Yes, I think. I joined in December and you were already running it. So, yeah. Yeah. The one the Felsman series used to be recorded on, basically. That's still running. Um, there's also a 17 one we were using for live streams. Just waiting for a particular map to come out to be able to think it'll probably be the 17 one which gets the chop at the moment. Because the map I've got in mind will suit quite nicely for MP. chance of actually taking part in that you need to be active in my discord that's the only way we're gonna get to sort of um or you'll get to earn our trust more than anything we've seen too many servers ruined by letting the wrong people on there unfortunately Maybe a chance that Michael. I was gonna say morning GD, but I should actually now say afternoon GD. How are we doing? This is really irritating how all those bales are twisted. If you completely lock it down with a password, Tom, it's not too bad. User entered your channel. Hello. Hey Del. Afternoon. It's morning for me, so good morning Del. Morning, are you behind us? One hour. Half away. I thought you were in front for some reason. Nope. This field's going to take a lot of clearing up on here. If I'd done it the other way, GD, you know every bale would have twisted around the world wanting to go this way. You must have over 100 bales of it easy. Well, there's 41 off the first headland round. Oh, yeah. okay. We've got 200 in. <laughs> I think there's going to be between three and 400 on here. Yeah. That's my guess. I haven't looked since the first headland was done. Welcome along, Luca. I'm afraid I'm not quite sure what you're saying there. I'm not going to 
around about trying to lose your shot. Yeah. Saw point, Tom, that one. Especially when you consider Milton found a floating tree stump on the one they released yesterday. Yeah. What they didn't fail for. Yet they failed a spell a mistake in the German translation on Oxy's map. Which they sent him to put in. Yeah. So. Told you, it's a spit I don't like it. Oh, so speaking of Nathan, they can't see any reason for Medigrove PC to fail this time, is there? At all. No, he's, he's done everything, done all the errors and everything. Yeah. So. Every error has been done in there, what we found last weekend. Yep. Even those ones he didn't know were there, what I found he's fixed, hasn't he? <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> that was weird though, the same game thing. I didn't understand yeah. that at all. But then those errors that I found, which no yeah. one else has spotted before, but obviously Giants had spotted them, or were going to. But I never got, I never got them either, that's what I don't make, makes no sense, it's weird. Yeah. And it could be I was using something in one of those parts of the farm that you weren't. Yeah, could well be. I don't know how big this field is. Um, it's a big one, that's for certain. Not as big as Field 9. I don't know if you heard me say a few minutes ago, Dal, but we're going to buy small land and each block I was looking at has got potatoes in it. <laughs> yeah, you love potatoes. So you may have to break the new potatoes rule. I'll get rid of this now. Right Are away. they fields, some of the smaller fields, but they're the other side of the map in an area we haven't actually spent any time. Because the big field beside the yard here, the biggest one on the map, is oats. That comes with another big field and a little one. I'd like to sort of get across the other side of the map so we can have a look over there. I have to go potatoes then. Yeah. Luckily all three potato fields aren't in the same block. Oh, you can have that one block for the potato fields. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happened last time come, someone came out with something like that? What is it with you guys and wanting me to do potatoes? It's a shame you can't bring that potato harvester from uh, Pure Farming over. <laughs> the voice chat is private team speak, um, Michael. That's not Discord voice chat. Alright. I think we just about got as much straw as we could get on there. No bits, pieces lying about. I could worry too much about given how many bars we have got. So I suppose the question is, just how many bales have we got on there? So let's see how far I was out with my three to four hundred guess. Two hundred and sixty-two. That'll keep us going for a little while. Clear them up. Field nine. I'd have to be insane to plant potatoes on a field that size. <laughs> up that top there. Because that we got nine, ten, and eleven in one block. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen in another. One of them is potatoes, I think. Sixteen and twenty-two is potatoes and cotton. Twenty-one, twenty-three, one of them is potatoes. If we go back to the overview. I will have a look at some of these field sizes. So we've got sugar beet and potatoes in one block. Oh. 
You know, we don't want both of them in one block, do we? No. One we could deal with, but both of those crops together would be a nightmare. Cotton and potatoes, sugar beet, sunflowers, potatoes and soya. Morning, Nathan. How are you doing? Or afternoon, Nathan. Grass. Uh, all seed rape and corn, oats, corn and wheat in a block and oats, barley and sunflowers. Yeah, 16 would be cultivated up if you bought it because we won't be doing cotton. Let's have a look at some of these field sizes. Field 19, 4.71 hectares, 13, 3.6, 14, 8.18. Field 9, 21.95 hectares. We are not putting potatoes on that if we buy it. No. 13 hectares of potatoes took long enough to do on Thuringia Nobleland. And it was with three harvesters. Yeah, we'd need five or six harvesters for that one. And it takes... And it had taken four days yeah. doing that. So, field 12, three hectares. And field 21, 8.7. I'm not buying 21 and 23, Tom, because I don't want sugar beet and potatoes in one block. Sort of looking in this area, though, because we've spent all our time up this way in here. We've not actually been down through this way, other than when I've done the first look. So have a think about that. Empty these trailers before we do anything else. So everything combined for now, what's ready? We've still got another crop to harvest yet. Yeah, the team speak doesn't belong to me, Michael, so uh, that's why it's private. It's up to the owner as to who comes in there. What is it with you guys who want me to do root crops all the time? You know if you nag me enough I'm going to give in. We've already got one big field of sugar beet ready to harvest. Which I don't know where the price of beet is at the moment actually. Everything else is going down. Apart from corn. And sugar beet is still up so we might have to get the harvester in on that field and get that started. Considering we've got the harvester leased, we don't actually own that. Can use the lorry to cart off that. We want the 6920. Empty that. That's those sort of fields we see just over there we'd be looking at probably. Got a lot of money's worth of straw sitting on this field. Have you seen the size of the sugar beet field we've got to harvest, Tom? We've already done one beet field. probably plant a big block of canola again as that paid really well this time as we can see by the bank account now we had 20,000 litres of wheat in store when we started that field so it'll be interesting to see what we've got now 
because we just have to have a look there. Yeah, it's worth a lot more than that on here, isn't it? 273,568 um, litres. So we've had 250,000 litres of wheat off that field, roughly. 250 times 1,200 pounds when we sell it. I think we can live with that. Let's find the beet harvester then. down at the shop could do Tom <clears throat> buy another header for it shouldn't be too much of a problem bales as far as the eye can see on there. So if that one was to be done and baled as well we'd get about a similar amount I think. There should be several beet come off this field. Start down by the road gates. Still got this bit where the beat heap was on here to subsoil yet. Didn't hit the tree this time. Not that I've crashed into that tree with anything in the last 24 hours. Don't get GD get any ideas I might have crashed on here last night while he wasn't looking. There ought to be a very large quantity of sugar beet come off this field. Definitely not just hit the gatepost. drilled it was somewhere in this direction mm, you'll be in luck with Meadow Grove then Let's get the GPS set up as well. Just 
just sort of cheating to get a straight line with the GPS. Helpers are useful for that. Yeah, that would be a nice little addition. Going at a slight angle to the direction we drilled in, look at that ground texture. I thought we'd gone this way, but never mind. We'll see when we get to the other side. Not gonna be short of sugar beet, that's for certain, looking at this. Looks like they're going the same way as the rows to me. I can see lines in front of me. Definitely lines there. It's near enough anyway. Afternoon Stephen, how are we doing? How you doing today, uh, Stephen? Feeling a bit uh, less sore at all? certainly would do. I'm not that insane though because I'd never get caught all the way across the field on there. Remember what console failed on level 74 PCs are still in testing that hasn't been passed or failed yet Ooh. 
I can understand why that's worse news. I know what you guys like about Silas over there. These halves doesn't help us in GPS, so an interesting combination at times. Let's hope it'll actually reach into the lorry. If it won't reach in here, we could have a slight issue. We'll have to use the 7913 trailer. I'm trying to avoid that if possible. That's definitely a challenge, Tom. You forget your medication or something this morning if you're doing that with the TX. I know I've done some bad things, but I think that's going um, a bit further than I've done. You guys over there seem to live, breathe, and sleep solely, just Stephen. You're addicted to it. It's down the other end of the field. At least it didn't catapult sideways or anything. I'd have to be more than a little bit bored to contemplate that one. Afternoon Nathan, how are we doing? What on earth is this harvester doing when I turn the GPS on? It's just a bit quicker than the potato harvesters. Now if you really want to solve your boredom with that one, Tom, you could use the bail cannon. Yeah. Just think if I'd used that on the uh, field we've just bailed on here without the trailer behind it. That would have been fun to clear up. At least we got the 12 row halves to when we leased it. 6 row 1 would have been a bit time consuming on here. As with the trail Grimmy. Unless I ridiculously edited the tank capacity of it. I haven't actually played on that horse map. I 
Now, Warps will sort this little GPS issue out with these harvesters. Well, there's just something relating to how it's done with the game. More money coming in for us for this lot. So we are incredibly hard up on here at the minute, as you can see. Right, yeah, you are welcome to doing that with the TX and the round baler, then, Tom. True dedication. And mind you, I don't think we've got much room to talk of what we're planning for the 200 subscribers, have we, Milton? What? Well, if Tom's doing a big field with the TX, yeah. look at what we're planning for the 200 subscribers special. Yeah. But we have more than one. Oh, yes. It is a bit crazy, but. We'll manage. Yeah. We are used to it. Yeah. Why on earth does YouTube keep hiding follow me? Yeah. I presume it's because it thinks you're asking to follow your channel or something. Yeah. That's what. As soon as this tank's full, we'll go and uh, empty the lorry. It's certainly a lot easier having the headlands already harvested the barley on here. Start to see lots of little green lines on drilled sugar beet fields around this way now. In real life, all coming up. Bit of a shock turn with the weather out there this morning though. Hail, rain, wind. Don't go like that very much. Oh, now, if you were going to do true dedication to the cause, Tom, you'd use a tractor and loader and a single bale spike. You could be there a while. Personally, I'd use the biggest Anderson one, which takes 24 bales. If 
from memory, it's about 23, 24,000 for a load of sugar beet on that lorry at current prices. Done it again. Something to do with the GPS. How many times you get away with doing this on a beet field in this area when they've been harvested? when they're doing it with running lorries beside the harvesters. I have noticed there's a few growers over there now going to ropers and using a mouse to load them out of the field. And YouTube videos. So 22,519. Yep, definitely plugged in, Tom. I think SG might be getting really fed up with all these jokes about his plugging in now. At least we know the lease of the harvester is paid for by what we've taken off the field so far. With the other field as well we've done. <laughs> That's the first time I've heard you guys describe like that, Stephen. <laughs> One whiff of grass and you'll wake up, do you? Yeah. They start the engines and they go to the fields. Never have seen the mass attraction of silage myself. Yeah, everyone here is as going out of the silage, and they are doing baleage. Yeah, yeah could do, Tom. I have done silage with the contractor for a season, or maize silage, a little bit of grass that time of year, but not much. Yeah, Just all can't. the grass is on bales. Yeah. We only do maize. When I say we, the farmers. Yeah. Do. Just seems lots of chase around like a mad thing for a few weeks. Yeah. case of some contractors paying their staff next to nothing to do it. And uh, many farmers still ha help one each other with the uh, carting of the silage. Yeah. yeah. This is a big thing around here still. That's how it should be. Help each other to do it. They just paid uh, for the harvest. Around here we've got 
contracts here running some run one self repelled, some run two and one 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 of them actually runs three. Yeah, it is the same around here. And some contractors have already trucks. Yeah. To haul. Yeah, there isn't too much um Ugh, dreadful Nathan. <laughs> Go back to sleep if that's the best you can come up with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't tell me you're an addict of soilage as well. a big hole in the field already. Yeah, there's one or two around here like that as well, 1174 share and combines. That is a big expense, there's one or two share beat harvester as well, for the same reason. If you copy and paste it onto your desktop or anything, Sam, that's the best way to do it. Just make a copy of it and put it in another folder. Yep, Bluetooth radio is a good start. A good radio, it is necessary. It helps. A lot. Yeah, good thing with Bluetooth radio is now it's usually got phone hands-free built into it. My last new tractor, we made sure that had a radio with hands-free. What kept you amused then, Nathan? Last, it's 2006 that I done some. Uh, that involved a Renault 836 and 16 tonne solid trailer. We did a little bit of rolling on the clamp with the Renault when we needed uh, two trailers or the farmer helped or we needed some extra rolling on the clamp. <clears throat> so the clamp was done with the JCB, the farm master. Yeah, I had a power in the 6920 I used to drive. And when we got the Puma, we had a Sony Bluetooth in it. It's really how it should be, Stephen. And for how much extra those Bluetooth radios cost now to a standard one. You're under hundred pound for one. That's not difficult to do, Sam, unfortunately.
We did get one stuck on the clamp and need a tire fit to sort it out. So he caught one of the um, angle iron supports on the side and went straight through the back tire. I'm not quite sure what you mean there, Tom. Oh, I know exactly who he works for then. With the little snow bullies. Yeah, I know what you mean, Stephen. Unfortunately, there are there's some good ones out there who don't care what they drive, but a lot of them just want the biggest kit, the best kit, and think they're a good track to drive because they start driving on a brand new Fent with a Vario gearbox. Yeah. So you stick them in some of the gearbox in and levers, they wouldn't know what to do with it. They will be staring at the levers. Yeah. Yeah. We had that on the course that's, a couple of months back with a young lad. And scratching their heads, yeah. thinking, what is that thing for? Yeah, I had someone say they're a very good track to drive, but they'd only ever driven a Fent 828. Oh, that's not good, Nathan. It's alright doing clamps as long as they're stable, the walls are good, and you know you're not going to fall through them anyway. No, not the one I was thinking of then, Sam, because I know another one who uses them. I knew there'd be a little bit to the left of it. Uh, 6600 that I learnt on. Then 6610, 7810 Fords. When you work for yourself, Nathan, you just have to take whatever you're given out of the place, don't you? Are you still lurking in chat, GD? Uh, not too sharp then. Those old Fords were good ones to learn to drive on. So come on Streamlabs, do your thing. I've just seen what come up on my phone. At what time were you thinking of going live? Um, GD. I know you said you were this afternoon. Thanks for the sub, B. Thomas. Much appreciated. Interesting Streamlabs is on the go slow compared to YouTube today.
first one I drove was a Nuffield. Ooh, that's a classic. Yeah, Nuffield 460, it belonged to my late father. We also had a peril power from three wheeler one we'd restored back then. Really, GD? You're trying to make me feel bad now, aren't you? Well, nice collision on the bottom of the lorry there. Bear in mind this is a mod hub vehicle. Off the Giants mod hub. We've got sugar beet coming through the floor of it. <clears throat> Whoa. Yeah. They let, and they let it pass. Yep. Like uh, the map, like yesterday's map. Your floating tree stump? Yeah. My and the floating tree I found on Hofgut Brook, and the other floating tree on that other little map. Uh, I found a floating tree on, on the old streams too, the other day. That's one thing we know they won't find on Medigrove, isn't it, Nathan? Won't find anything floating on there. Okay, GD. I'll be going a little bit longer, but not much, because I ain't anything to eat yet. Those that know me know me and food are a good companion to each other. Yeah, they... I think they will, they will do a, a spelling bee competition on Mod Hub now. Yeah. Yeah, check your spelling before you submit anything these days, especially if they've given you the words to use. In case they've spelt them wrong when they gave them to you. I think between all of us, we've um, found all your fluters on there, haven't we, Nathan? Hope you checked everything for spelling mistakes, Nathan. I hate anything to come out of that one. Yeah, could do, um, Tom. First time I've noticed on there, certainly nothing else has ever come through the bottom of it like that. You'd kind of hope there'd been something that had actually been checked on it. I don't think we could get all the way back across here somehow. That's weird 11.75, I've had absolutely no issues with that bulker. 
other than the one we've just seen. I think Nathan's had enough of whites lately. And Heather's? Yes. Be close about getting back. That is weird. There's some sort of mod conflict there. It had to be. I say there's been absolutely no issues on there. Uh, unless it was in John Deere colours and not originally by John Deere, that wouldn't pass then, Tom. Yeah, John Deere. Now has a big say. Yeah. And the mods. They are the boss. Oh, yeah. Yes. Anyone who didn't think that was going to happen was very much mistaken. Yeah. They all about branding, branding, yeah. branding. That's how they make a big part of their income. Yeah. JCB are a bit like it as well, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah I don't think they'd ever say something if. Um, Johnson. No, the thing with JCB, they're very protective of their logo. If you speak to a few people in the know, when that appears on any sort of scale model or anything like that, it has to be at exactly the right angle. It'll be exactly how it should be. I've heard a couple of complaints from model manufacturers about it before. The one thing they check is that the logo is on in the correct position and that sort of thing. Which is a fair comment, that's their logo if that's how they want it. Yeah. But uh, John Deere is all about brand. Oh yes. Brand. Well, you have to plug the new one in. Yes, G. And if you remember to plug the wheel into it, it'll work properly. Easy. <laughs> And it's plugging problems. Sorry, SG. I said the wrong name. Yep, 1174, you weren't wrong there. Those of us who worked in the ag industry know what they're like. Everyone loves John Deere, but they're very, very um, forceful about things. Yeah. Class can be to a degree as well, but I think they're not to the same level. They have produced their own video games for PC too. Yeah. That I is the issue with John Deere more yeah. than anything. Yeah. This isn't their first sort of first foray into rodeo. it. Yeah. This is their first rodeo in the gaming industry some degree it won't be classes either as they've been sort of with cattle and crops but look what's going on there yeah though I believe you're a top fan of cattle and crops aren't you Dal? <laughs> yeah amazing how I've got that 
Yeah. They must be desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I've heard a few people say that, 1174. Must be something to do with country of origin. Get. They both originate from the same country? Yep. What they need to be looking at though when it comes to this game is just getting stuff in it because they're dealing with their next generation of potential customers. Yeah. And they they have to think that they don't only produce farming equipment now. They produce gardening equipment too. Yeah. And I do know of dealers who've lived to regret the day they've ignored younger people when they've gone in there. Yeah, that's a big mistake they made. Yep. I know of one particular salesman for a company who sold green and yellow who decided he would tuck up an inexperienced buyer with a rather less than what's the best description for less than ideal tractor mm -hmm. sort of high houred and known to have a few issues with it but um, a certain young customer now runs the place <laughs> and guess what brand tractors they don't have yellow and green yeah I know a few sort of stories like that out there our yellow and green uh, killer in this island it is the big cooperative yeah I will say that customer is not local to here before anyone who is local gets any ideas about who it could be it is the local cooperative that yeah. uh, buys the milk Right. And everything. But they take over a guy that was owing them a lot of money. Yeah. Before the bank could take the business, they have taken the business. Yeah. Him. I've heard of that before. The rest, uh, Kubota and Dukes and Class, are in the same dealer. It is the same dealer that sells. Builds them, yeah. Builds it is there too. Yeah. Yeah. Lamborghini belongs to another dealer. Landini belongs to the same dealer of class. MF belongs to the same dealer of the class brand. Yes. Uh, lot of sort of interesting mix-ups going on at times. Yeah, that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's fairly pathetic. Eleven seventy-four. That one. Yeah, many people complain about cat engines. Yeah. Especially in Canada or in the sta even in the States about combines with cat engines. They are always complaining about it. Yeah, I know class fit cat engines to combines for a while. Bill Holland in the, the States. I know a, a Canadian YouTuber that has rec recently bought a new uh, new to him new Holland combine and he is thrilled because it is not a cat engine yeah he will sell his old combine with a cat engine FPT will... engine now yeah yeah it is a 90s combine that he yeah. wants so 90s combine PR, huh? Yes, no. I have a co engine. Yeah, but it is uh, a uh, Canadian. Yeah. Canada, so it is not Iron Crew. Not, not, nothing like a good Perkins engine. 
<laughs> Sounds about right, 1174. Thing is, when you um, if you watch Millennial Father Farmer's um, channel, when Cat were trying to get in with him, they let him video in the factory. They showed him round, put it all out on his channel. Then you have to go and do something like that when you go there. Well, well, it's in Spain. Cat has a factory in Spain. Have factories everywhere. Nice. So eleven seventy four had a free vacation mm. in Spain. You know how much you like your Perkins engines, Milton? Yeah. Do you know who actually owns them? No. The hot one? Uh-uh. That -uh. <laughs> cat. Yeah. <laughs> but if I'm going to buy a machine with a Perkins engine, it will be a 20 to 30 years old machine. Yeah. So, it will be a, a proper English. Yeah. Cat have owned Perkins for a number of years now. Yeah. I can't remember exactly how long, but I knew they owned them. Uh, a friend of mine has, and he's in Holland, has uh, a Perkins engine. Yeah. The small one. The, the one that it is on my YouTube thing. Right. That blue one has a Perkins engine. Nineteen ninety eight. That's when that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Before that Ferguson owned them. Yeah. Must remember to turn GPS off before I try and reverse this thing. And what we'll do is we'll just empty this lorry, then we'll actually um finish for today or the, for now so I might be back later I might not don't know what I'm going to be doing but one thing's for certain I'm certainly getting hungry yeah me too yeah I've heard of Hydromec before that does not surprise me the slightest <laughs> Two hundred and sixty-two, I think. Um, what on earth has that just done when I've done this? It's just twisted to one side beneath this. Uh, two hundred sixty-two. Interesting. Get back. Something very strange going on with GPS and this thing. Whoa. I'm not sure what his calls not. So, so I'll be putting another video out this afternoon, which is a mod review. Mm. We've got the smallest ones out there on changing the XMLs.
Yeah, one or two on there. Get this tank full, empty the lorry, and as I say, that'll be where we finish for now. If I do come back again later, we may do something different. That'll be after I've eaten something. Hey Lloyd, how are you doing? Good thanks, yourself? I think we've got nearly half the field done maybe. Getting towards that point. Have my daily trawl through the mod sites after the stream as well. See what I'd find. If anything, I've already recorded oh. another mod review this morning, which isn't the one that's going out this afternoon, that'll be tomorrow's. Yeah, it's lovely. The same mods. Yeah, I think. A faint 1050 value by Stevie. Mm, that'll be interesting. See what he's done on that. A sample Rosalu Comia. You didn't give in and buy that SG. What? X plane yes. for 50 quid. Oh lord, SG. What's it they say about a fool and their money being easily parted? Yeah, for a person. That says he's too tight. Yeah. Don't get loan money when you get married. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's yours is hers, and what's hers is her own. <laughs> yeah, exactly right there. <laughs> it's like, um, how much have I got my bank? Oh, sorry, I took all that out. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I normally get. <laughs> Unfortunately, my friend's missus done to him before she left him and took everything out of wow. his bank without him realising. No, nah, Beck, Beck deals with a lot of it, but I do as well. But Yeah, he had yeah. to borrow money off his 18-year-old daughter to be able to pay that month's mortgage payment on the house. That's not right, though, is it? No. 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 Nah, we're pretty, we're pretty all right, aren't we? Yeah. Like, it's obviously tight because, obviously, oh, look. Benefits and stuff, but, yeah. Isn't that we're very nice and ornamental good. under there? Where? Who's mental? Said ornamental, not mental. We know who's oh. mental. <laughs> <What's it> mental? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shut up. Oh, we have Sugar Beat coming through the middle of the floor of the lorry this time. Yeah. That's the mod. Oh, that's the modded truck, isn't it? The mod hub yeah. one. That, that's off mod hub? Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's off mod hub. <laughs> and doing that. I ain't saying, no, don't get me yeah. started. You know I can't work. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't make Dal rant, please. Well, I'm now going to finish right. anyway, so we can rant in a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my luck, GD, we've got live and I can't rant then. <laughs> That's why I'm giving a sort of 10 minutes leeway to rant. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll just mute you two for a second. Okay. Sound muted. Microphone muted. Alright, so that is where we're going to finish there. Oh, well, definitely spell correct, 1174. Um. I say check out today's or this morning's video there'll be another one going live shortly I may be back a bit later we shall see 
put a link to today's video in chat in a second for you. But for now, that's what I'll say. Hope you've enjoyed this stream. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again next time. Goodbye for now.